I'm in the spray booth packing area and this is our latest improvement. So we need to communicate quickly to other people around the building that we need a QC check or forklift driver required or if we ship another pallet we can push and hold the button and it'll play over the tannoy system. In the bathrooms too, we've added a button with a tannoy system. So if the rope's not tight, push the button just to let everyone know, keep it premium. And then double press is to start our 3S routine. So it'll play music for 10 minutes and it also announced to do not enter the kitchen or the bathroom and long press to stop the music. So we're gonna add uh, the double press to the start of our cleaning procedure and it's gonna be premium, great job. At the two second bean, this gives us some hot and cold water. I didn't actually realize it's got two separate taps for the hot and the cold. I think that explains why when you sometimes press cold, it doesn't quite hit. You might be close or you might be making a mess. So I'm just gonna get that fixed. I've just added these bits of tape here as a bit of visual control, which means now I know that if I do have an odd sized uh, bottle or cup, hot water, cold water, far less chance of making a spill and making a mess. Thank you. Okay, so in the Ringola area, um, Slavic normally has to come over to me and say like, what's my next job that he needs to do? So rather than having to do that, we're gonna put his tasks down here that he does, and then I'm gonna organize them every single day for him so he knows exactly what needs to be done. So, so for instance, he'll empty the skips in the morning. As soon as that's done, he'll move that over to here and then go on to the Ringolas. And we'll do this each day, and that'll just save him having to come and find me to ask him what job's gonna be next, um, and that'll make his work a little bit better. When driving the Kubota sometimes, the ladder slides around and does uh, sometimes come off. So just try and prevent that. I've added a couple of brackets on here to secure it in place and hopefully that solves the issue. Having this switch to turn on the spray booths um, wasn't labelled up so I gave it some signage and also how to turn on and how to turn on. Thank you. This is the before and after, the tape was worn out so just replaced a little improvement, thank you. Right, before it's able to say, it will say low tape in this machine with that paid off. It looks so good, but it was going to avoid that and make it a lot better. Right now, we've got another label, now it looks a lot better. Now, a good standard. Again, thank you. The improvement of an improvement from yesterday. Okay. This is the update on a version much better made by Jake. The nuts and bolt rack has a description of the parts at the front of the XL card, but as you can see, the 8mm pots of pan screws are missing. So I've asked Jake and he made some new labels which I'll stick with. With some cooler dots from the office from Jake, I have fixed the welcome. And glue dots now have a harm on the tool wall in pre-packing. Uh, so it's just improvement on our packing order wall. So obviously we have our designated slots for where our packers will come and pick the items from. Now what happens, say for instance we're picking downstairs parcels, if there's something that isn't on the shelf and we've run out of the stock of it, the order will go back into downstairs parcels. But the problem with that is one, the packers will obviously come around and they go, oh, they still want things to pack. So they'll have another look and then that's obviously wasting time. Secondly, when Jake comes to do his print in the afternoon, he's then got to go through each bit if we have any left over and sort of find out what we need. So we're going to improve. So what we've done is we put waiting for stock here. So rather than the order go back into here and having to be filtered and sorted again, it literally goes into this slot here. So Jake knows at two o'clock, when he goes to do his next print, everything that's in that slot, we do not have stock of, which means he can then check the Kanbans, check to see where they are, check to see if the Kanban needs to and this will hopefully make everything flow a bit easier. Every two weeks, I've checked these stock levels on Amazon and eBay, so I've just added a little calendar reminder in there, sort of relying on my memory for the 28th. Thank you very much. So I've made the first one of these lean labels for the tannoy buttons and I want to have a template, so here's a template. I can just fill in the location, fill in what happens when you press the buttons, and include the lean label number. Very easy template, very good for keeping the standard. So just popped to the welding and I just noticed this is like this. So we got measuring, but the tools are not what it should be. Blocks and pins, just chaos in here. Chisels in there, we got mix and match, so I'm just gonna fix it quickly. Now I just made sure everything is where it should be, all cleaned up and ready to go. Quick look around during Frias, notice that this one here is broken at the back, see that there? And this one's completely come off, so I'm just gonna keep the rope tight and fix them. Very easy fix, just took the label out and put it into a new clip and stuck them both on. Good name. It's a great job, great job everyone, thank you very much.